don't know what's going on here. <laughs> what happened? Oh, God, you have Steven on your couch. Rose! You know what? This is going in the b-hole. No, I am. We are showing them right now. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in <laughs> on that and show them this disgusting, <laughs> disgusting what, y'all? I don't know what that is. I will say I did jerk someone off on my couch a little bit ago, and I thought I got it off. <laughs> what is that on Poodle's couch? <laughs> I'm doing. It looks like semen to Stop me. It! What I have to put up with, y'all. <laughs> oh my God! How do I get this back quicker? <laughs> oh Lord, help. I don't think it's semen. I don't think that. Let me see what it tastes mm. like. No, it's not semen. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. This is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? Yes, ahoy, matey. Love. Do, 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 do. Exciting and new. Ooh. Go online. Mm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Beyonce. Soon you'll be flying. Parts unknown, 90 day Beyonce, marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. It's reality, yes, let's love. Repeat after me. I'm Mohammed. I'm Mohammed. <laughs> take Eve. Take Eve. Take this green card. Take I'm in Eve. Eve to be, be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. Fingers crossed. Raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> now. You said Carol Channing, there, and I said Elizabeth Ashley from it, Evening Shade. She does sound like Elizabeth Ashley, It was more, Ashley it was a little too. more, Elizabeth Ashley from yeah, or, Evening Shade, who was uh, actually, she was Maggie the Cat. In, Maggie uh, the Cat. Or, she was in Maggie the Cat in, 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 in uh, Cat on the Hot Tin Roof the, in the 60s. But, but with the gruffness, too, of like a Suzanne Plachette. It's, it's like Elizabeth Ashley meets Suzanne Plachette. But with a little bit of Carol Channing. I agree. She said stuff, I think it was her, say, her, her teeth aren't all in. In too. I think it was the denture thing. I would listen to her talk all day. <laughs> that was the wedding official, by the way. That voice juxtapositioned with Mohammed <laughs> was one of the funniest things I've seen on 90 Day Fiance. One of the funniest. And there and you put the sand in here. Put we're, the, gonna, we're gonna put the sand. Ooh, it, and this is how I mix the sand. sand. Yeah, you're gonna mix it, the it, sand it, together. It, they keep the once the <laughs> sand's together, you can't take it apart. <laughs> I will say, I didn't think this wedding could uh, could surprise me. When she came out, I was wrong. All right, it's, we're going to get to it. Yeah. But y'all, this is Reality this Gaze. This is Reality Gaze, episode 16. Uh, Here comes the pride. I don't think we said that in the first episode. We didn't. Why is it called Here Comes the Pride? Uh, Is it something with... Is it Benny? Uh, Benny, no, it has to be Eva and Mohammed because they're the other ones that get married. Benny and Ari got married. But what Eva was Mohammed. prideful about it? I don't know. I feel like this should be the next episode of Love in Paradise because everything has a gay title for that show. <laughs> it's literally called Bottoms Up, I'm Coming Out, Dicks for Dinner. <laughs> like they're, they all have some type of gay. Y'all, if you're not watching Love in Paradise, it's gay pride. Bukake for Bukake. play. Y'all, if you're not watching Love in Paradise, you're wrong. You're wrong. Sorry. Oh. You're, you're living life incorrectly. You're in, pay the fucking $5. I'm telling you. Oh, it's with that and 90 Day UK. UK. I, I, oh. I, I, again, we, we didn't talk not, about We are, we are not being paid by them by no, any means. No, we're not. We're not at all. Well, I We're not even getting you. an email back from Discovery. 
that we emailed them several months ago. Like we, literally just ghosted it. But so I that's promise right. you, I will continue to heap accolades on them because I believe in their content. You know what? And pig royalty. Like, I believe in pig royalty. We I even love Love Off the Grid. We just didn't cover it all. I also love Arranged, which. Uh, oh, I saw that. I haven't seen it yet. It oh looks. My God, is it good? good? It's good. It's good. But it's an older show. But, um, but they're promoting it as a new show. It's weird. I don't really understand it. Um, But, yeah, I got sucked into it, and I was like, this, why was this show not really popular? And I was like, oh, it's older. It's older. Yeah. So, anyway, y'all. Um, so, lip. what oh. you need to know, but 90 Day UK is worth it. It got, it's. I'm telling you, for a. For a movie, for the price of like a senior movie ticket no, for a month. I got a black coffee at Starbucks. Black. No cream, no frappy, no sugar. Frappy. Frappin' chivin' whatever it's sh- frappuccino shit, macchiato. I'm drinking because it's after the YouTube Live. None of that, y'all. I just got a black medium coffee at Starbucks. $3? At, no, it was $4.25. Robbery. What would Mother Poodle say to that <laughs> one? <laughs> but why can't I just brew my own coffee at home? You could not buy you got one. got gold in it? Yes. You could not buy one cup <laughs> of coffee. It's one of her coffee favorite things saying is there this... gold leaf in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, you say that. I know. We get it honest. Wow, well, you saw my face if you're watching The Intimate Portrait. Uh, but uh, I'm scared. That's that face. <laughs> but anyway. I want to hit you. You could not get a cup of coffee and be able to watch. It is worth it to watch Lip. Pig yeah. royalty and ninety day UK, just those unbelievable. Things. Yes, and honestly, and a joy of a show, Trixie Motel. I have yet to watch it. It is people love it though. It is. It is. It is. It. Takes Where's my timey? Brain away. Oh, turn on timey. It's so when, good. When we start, when we start getting off topic, I'm about uh, to watch the episode next with Leslie Jordan, and I can't wait. Anyway, happening. it's kind of taking up Drag Race for me. And y'all, we can't talk about Drag Race because Poodle hasn't w- caught up yet. So I haven't watched know. it. Yep. All right, Timey's time on the move. It'll be, you should watch it. It'll help quell the non-dicking you're getting right now because of <sighs> monkeypox. Y'all, I did get my first shot of monkeypox. So but he's I need being to, aware. I need to wait a little bit longer until it starts taking effect because I don't want sores on my face. Yeah, I, or I, I, I don't want that. And again, I think and or the flu like symptoms. We said this in a streaming show. Uh, I'm afraid you'll get on a soapbox, but I just want to say it because it's good for people to know. If you are want to get good information, I share this on my own Instagram all the time. A gentleman who's a nurse practitioner named Ask the NP. Just today, I had a friend, a straight woman friend, who texted me in, in Dallas and said, "Sugar, I'm getting real worried about this monkeypox right. thing." And I said. Stop reading the new. You're you're stop listening to dramatic gay men who are saying you're going to get it on a anyone subway can bus. get monkeypox on a subway. We're not going to disseminate the medical information because we're not experts. We're not experts. We don't want to be in that. But my friend Neil is, and he gets his information. A nurse practitioner, or, or not Neil, from the CDC. Yes, yes he get to ask the NP. He gets it from the CDC. He's a nurse practitioner. Highly recommend. But I will say this. You you have you just aren't going to get it from walking by someone. It's not like coronavirus, y'all. No. So do your research before, and don't just read an article that you see on GaryScareTactics.net. Unless you're snowballing with a gay guy, um, chances are, if you don't know what snowballing is, yeah. you can Google it. You can Google Carl's it. Carl's wife is doing it right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> about lots of cum. I had to learn that from Julia Roberts in that movie, Stepmom. We talked about this before, and snowballing was talked about. Yeah, so the internet really wasn't its thing, then. I had to be like, what is snowballing? <laughs> it was a really, like, in kind of a sweet, weird movie, it was a really random, deep, dark joke. Like, the person in the writer's room who wrote that was fucking <laughs> nasty, and I mean nasty in a good Isn't way. Isn't that movie very sad? Doesn't yeah, someone Susan die? Sarandon's going to die. Julia Roberts is going to be the new After stepmom. After this last election, but I don't give a shit. Wow. <sighs> wow. Sorry. 
Wow, someone's got opinions. All uh, right. Yeah, and she I, does, I really believe Susan, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Susan's ready to uh, Y'all, that reminds she me. She can suck my dick. Uh, if you have opinions about women's autonomy, then be sure to give to our charity this month. The Bridget Alliance. Or for July. This actually will air in August, so we don't yeah. have an August charity And if you yet. don't think women should have autonomy over their bodies, you could turn off the podcast right now. Yeah, you don't have to listen to it. Go fuck yourself. Um, but if you can, uh, the Bridget Alliance helps women get abortions in other uh, states. Yep. Uh, um, especially in, if, especially if, you're, if your state is now, if you're in a trigger law state where you basically have outlawed abortions, uh, you can, the Bridget Alliance can help you go to another state, especially past 15 weeks. Exactly. So um, you can give to that in the Sissy Squad or you can go to our Instagram, Reality Gays Podcast, yeah. and get, we're doing a charity there. Or you can just follow us on Instagram, y'all. We're really trying to in. We're Jake and I. We had a business. We had a meeting, business meeting, and we really wanted to. We're going to be interacting um, it, over the next month. We're kind of coming up with a str- strategy. Um, Caitlin, if she's hearing us, she's going. This is news to me, Caitlin. We're going to talk <laughs> about it. At our no, wait. She week. knows. I've, I've she, emailed her. Yeah, she did email. So, but we're we want to become more interactive <laughs> with Instagram. Uh, we've had. Huge success, honestly. Actually, not huge, but we've had really great success with TikTok, and it's yes. been fun to interact with y'all on that. So um, we're going to try to get we're going to be together we're, we're going to try to show you kind of who we are. We're going to try to try, again like, not poodle's butthole. <laughs> Many have asked. Many have asked. Y'all, if you want to see Poodle's butthole, it's not that hard. He'll you send can, it to you. Yeah, you can. You just ask. <laughs> I mean, it's just a. It's, you don't even have to put a question mark. Just DM him and say butthole, butthole, <laughs> or just put a emoji of a donut. You'll get it back. <laughs> You're gonna need to at least have a guy on In your fact, picture, though. His Instagram just is an automatic send. It won't even. He doesn't even <laughs> do it. It's a robot that just goes whoop, picks whoop whoop. <laughs> Yeah. And my grinder is just like, it's set to say, hey, how are you doing? You go, butthole. Butthole. <laughs> butthole. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, Any y'all, other announcements y'all or anything? Take, listen to our previous, if you're if you're coming to this, uh, you probably listened to the first part too. We talked about our vacations and we're not going to go belabor that. My time with my lesbian friends and my Wait, time fine. with the raccoon. My time with the Monterey Aquarium. Oh, I know what I wanted to say last time. You forgot to say. You're going to be guesting on a podcast. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be guesting on everyone's business but mine with Kara Berry. Uh, talking about Seeking Sister Wife Season 4. Yes. Um, and that'll be not this week, but the following. So just watch out for that uh, somewhere around... The second week in uh, August. Yeah, I think we're going to have some more collabs kind of coming too. So, yeah. so if you don't listen to everyone's business but mine, it's a really fun – Kara's got such a fun take on and, – and usually an out-of-the-box take because I've been listening to her stuff more and more. Mm-hmm. And and sometimes, sometimes it's really weirdly uh, – uh, she's almost like she's seeing the future on some of these. People. Oh, ooh. um, she's a real student oh, of reality Is she TV. Into conspiracy theories. No, but no, she <sighs> she and I speak the same language, and I'm really excited. She loves seeking sister wife, which I call my non IV heroin television show. Yeah, I know you enjoy it very uh, much. because it is just it is so. There's something about it that makes me I. I can completely bliss out to that show. I get it. And it is so fun. I want to crawl under my bed with the covers on my <laughs> face. Um, so that's, yes, so great. We're, we're, we'll be talking Seeking Sister Wife season yeah, four. We'll be talking about that. And then I think, I think that's about it. Our so, Bi Curious episode on the one that got away is is out now on our $5 Patreon. We loved yes. it. Yes. Uh, uh, welcome to Plathville should be ending soon, but don't you worry, y'all, because some others coming up this they're, month. They're, I have a feeling. Plathville is going to fuck us with two more episodes this week. I think it's going to be two more. Oh, two. you saw they might drop another two hours. I'm just worried about it. Yeah. We have, let us know. They did two hours last week. I so think we feel they're like going to fuck us. We I hope just not. have this feeling they're going to fuck we us. We hope not, but they probably will. All right. There's another announcement I wanted to bring up, but fuck it. I forgot. Interesting. Yep. Let's do it. Let's just talk about Eva Mohammed. Okay. <laughs> 22 days to wed. This, let me just, to, to kind of, because this is the end of their storyline, obviously. Yeah. In this episode. It started late. 
and ended somewhat early. And it started late, and, and all the drama was in the first, like, three weeks of their relationship, and now suddenly we're at 22 days. And then the next time we see them, we're at the day before the, for the wedding. wedding. So it's every other couple has, like, a kind of plotting, like, has a natural progression. I'm very confused at their whole storyline. I am I am confused at her changes. Um, I, uh, based on how the show has shown her, it feels she needs to be medicated. Yeah. Because on, the de- on a day-to-day basis, she's hating him. The next day, she's loving him. I believe that's the show. We see all these flashbacks of Mohammed doing stuff with her that yeah. I think we should have I, seen. I also want to say, y'all, we're not talking about this, but uh, because I need to investigate. Both of us need to investigate more. But supposedly some text messages from uh, Mohammed to another woman, his supposed girlfriend, have leaked. We have not investigated those to make sure they are viable. It's not. We're not really that kind of podcast until things get reported in mainstream and we can report and we can corroborate them. We really don't talk about it that much. We don't really talk about it that. Oh, I remember this announcement I wanted to bring up because some people started to ask. We just did our YouTube live today, y'all. That's for the people in the fifteen dollar pit we talked about under the skirt. Um, our inner, but uh, they were asking. We are covering happily ever after this coming season. Yes, even though it's going to be a trash cast. We're too excited for Kimberly and, and Newsman. And remember, you guys. Because remember, if you're going to get monkeypox, it's got to be, be skin, skin to skin. Skin, <laughs> skin to skin. That's it. Skin to skin. I did not expect yeah. getting monkeypox. So we know that. Uh, whoa. Whoa. We whoa. think Cray Cray, Nadia Cray, Kim and Kyle, and we think that Pink Shade Aaron skipping and Mary too. Payne are going to skip pay. And we're not. We. We're gluttons for punishment. Remember, y'all, Poodle likes to get choked a little bit, so we're gonna just we're gonna get through this whole season. <laughs> a little choking, like a, a little Andre and Libby. <laughs> With your fucking isn't as bad. Is it bad? Gut, 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 gut. As long as you got a safe word, you're fine. Exactly. Pomplamoose, pomplamoose. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we are gonna do it. And I was the other thing I was gonna say is remember you guys. A show with us is still 60%, maybe 50% 90 Day Show and 50% 40. us just like yeah. going off on tangents and yeah. being us. So, so it's fine. And remember, and this is – the thing about us, you guys know, is we're going to – we enjoy just entertaining each other and we enjoy we do. talking about things and just talking deeply about things – and we're really thankful that you guys have started to, or you guys like that. Oh, yeah. And so we're just thankful to have you guys as listeners. We I are. Just, to get to get a little bit, a little bit, a little bit vulnerable. Oh, I'm telling you, if you're feeling that way now, you wait till this finale of Drag Race. You're going to sob. Oh, I've been vulnerable all day today. It was so, just binge it all and just sob. Oh. But yes, we are very, 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 very so beyond grateful for I, our sisters. I was just going to say, just, um, just know that we're going to do, even if you don't like the show, listen to us, because we're going we're gonna to try to entertain you the best way we can. Yeah. And... You don't it's have to our, watch it's it if you don't nature. want to. We're show ponies, y'all. Yeah, you don't have to watch the show. Yeah. A lot of you don't watch the show. Yeah. So we'll we'll try to remember that going forward. I, if, and if you have to make a decision to watch Lip and 90 Day UK Lip, and watch Happily Ever After. Lip, Lip and 90 Day UK all over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So it's 22 days. What do you think of Rochelle's shirt that says, go love yourself? <laughs> First of all, she's an asshole. She's been an asshole the entire season. She's only in it for screen time. For sure. Also, girlfriend needs to cut down the Botox because that one eyebrow will not go down. The one eyebrow won't go down. I will say, though, I thought at the wedding she looked fucking Oh, gorgeous. she did. All the friends did. But I need to say something well, about Well, the one and then the black look Oh, weird. Tatiana. Her, <laughs> her hair like had a weird blowout. But Yeah, the squad, the squad is uneven. No, Rochelle looked fucking gorgeous. Did you see her husband and her or her boyfriend? Her husband yeah. or her boyfriend? Gorgeous. Whoever the fuck that man is. I'm glad Whoa. she I'm glad she was a runaway bride. Whoa, that guy was Whoa. hot. I and that guy had this. a thick dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we find out she was a runaway bride. I don't know if 
the way to tell Eve was, yeah, I was Runaway Ray Bride and I don't regret it. And I don't know if it's about making it about you. <laughs> like I, she did. I mean, I can kind of see that. I think she was trying to say, I think it was, I get how you read it that way. Yeah. And I think it came off that way. For me, I read it as, it was kind of like desperation of her saying everything but, yep. please don't marry this man. No one wants Eve to marry Muhammad, you guys. And so to me, it's, it felt Even like Farron. making it about her. But I think she was trying to say like, you, you, you can back out now. You don't have to do this. I think it was the way she said, I was a runaway bride. Yeah. It's a little... It... Yeah. I think she's kind of simply thinking, oh, maybe we'll make a show about you. I, We're not. I don't understand why there wasn't some type of, if the squad really believes this, and maybe it wasn't filmed, but why there wasn't some type of intervention. long intervention. Oh, they would have filmed that. I know. Because one at a time, you're not going to convince. Eve is kind of Stockholm syndromed. Because she is, y'all, like Belle from Beating the Beast, she thinks she's owed her happy ending. She's 48 years old. Yeah. The, the time for that is over. The time is well, to be practical. You, you can, you can, let, me, let me be clarified. You can have elements of that. I want to say you can have a realistic happy ending. Right. But what she keeps saying about the friends keep saying, You're, this is a fairy tale for you. And what they're saying is the negative aspects of a fairy tale, which are... Things just happen. But she's and just thinking of out. positive things, though. It's like when she says, "So I told Theron he gets this. I told him that we're getting married in a castle." And I went, "Yep, that's what you're telling yourself that you're getting married in so, this castle to your Egyptian yep. prince." They're all having manicures, and that's when she's got the "Go Love Yourself" uh, shirt on. And Eve says, "I have no doubts today." And Rochelle's like, "Today." And she's like, I was scared, but then things got better. Because Muhammad, like last week, you guys, Muhammad talked to his mother um, when, while we oh, were yeah, out. Oh, yeah, while we were out. I forgot while about While we that. were out, Muhammad talked to his mother, and she's like, girl. 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 Girl, what, make your wife you, happy. Girl, why are you tripping? Who she's cares? She's American. What, who cares what she wears, Muhammad? I'm sitting here holding a vape pen in my living room <laughs> at a bad camera angle. I don't give a fuck. I got my mom here behind me, <laughs> yeah. and we trip. We straight tripping, boo. Yeah. We don't you give know, a I don't, fuck. I don't give a fuck as long as you send us some goddamn money. Send us some money and stop sucking dicks. <laughs> Allah doesn't like it. <laughs> Allah no likey. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I'm not. As long, I'm, Jesus doesn't care if you suck a but, dick. Neither does Allah. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, Allah doesn't care if you suck a dick. Inshallah. <laughs> Buddha doesn't care. <laughs> no one cares. No one. Krishna doesn't Cr care. Krishna doesn't care. No one cares. Jehovah doesn't care. Jehovah doesn't care. Zenu doesn't even Zinu care. Zenu doesn't. Even though they would tell you they do. They, yeah. <laughs> Satan. Well, Satan wants you to suck Satan a dick. Satan wants you to suck Satan a dick. Wants you to yeah, suck a that's dick. All, yeah. yeah, that's why I'm drawn toward it. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're in a weird area. We're in a weird we're area. We're going to get put on like a hit list now. Oh, yeah. We're, we're going to get a fatwa. Totally. <laughs> so... <laughs> Basically, y'all, Rochelle says, I still don't think Eve should marry him. And, and, and Eve is like, we're just as the back as a place when we were like all lovey-dovey before and romantic. And Rochelle's like, I need you to think that this is not a fairy tale. And I've heard, she's got a point. And that's when Rochelle says, I was a runaway bride. I knew I needed to take some time. She said, I knew it. She the said, day before the wedding. There's too many red flags in this, she said. He is a walking red flag. Oh, as she said, yeah. she kept, and she made a good point. She said, you, I want you to know, I want you to feel like his wife and not his sponsor. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how, that is how he thinks. Oh, it totally is. What? This is what happened. It, I don't know if his mother's in it or not. But what Mohammed realized, if he wants, he thought, I think he has kind of like this, he thought he could be like a Bilal. Like, 
I'm the man. Yep. I'm the head of this. What I say goes. But he talks like this. So but, it's hard. So it's hard to be. So what he realized. Sorry. What he realized. Someone sent him the dick pics. <laughs> there you go. He realized if I'm going to get what I want, which is a green card, I have to fucking swallow this and play nice. Yep. Because the whole thing, this is later, but the whole thing and that that's he said, why this whole turn happened. Yes. That, y'all, it's a con. and the th- Of course it is. And the whole thing where he, sw- and y'all know me, I'm not usually the, 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 the conspiracy theory one. So if I'm saying It's usually it, me, yeah. The fact that he turned so quickly about that wedding dress that just showed off her tits. Yeah. No fucking way he liked well, that dress. It it also happened, I think there was a, probably also a meeting with production where production said, so what are we doing here? Are we going to follow through with this? Are we going to... And they probably I, didn't pressure him to do one of the others, but But yeah. no, where everyone just said, let's have a come to Jesus meeting. Is this going to happen or not? Because they were honestly treading water. Yeah. It was kind of like their story. That, that I think that's why they started late. Yep. And they had, I bet you, they had a really dramatic first month. And I bet their second month was nothing. Nothing. Just boring and, and, shit. And, and just miserable for her. Because yes. he wasn't, she wasn't getting anything. He probably him. wasn't talking to her. They were fighting for like a month. And, and that then, scene when, with the, when he's like, I should get another sponsor. And then the month before, talked to mom and shit turned around. And production meeting happened. Yeah, I agree. I think a production meeting happened before the talking to mom. Because I think they needed to know how to script it. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, possibly. Yep. That's why I feel like the last two episodes for them feel nothing like the rest of their season. Mm-mm. And that's why I feel like something turned around. I, and I, yo, know, I hate to be this like meta person behind the scenes, but I'm only reading what you're giving me. Um, and we we mm-hmm. need to face facts that 90 Day has become the producers and production have become much more hands on. They with are how these stories are yeah. shaped much. More. So uh, I I really believe that stories like. Guillermo and Kara, because they those two people can carry it long enough, aren't really that massaged. I don't think either of those stories are massaged. Like Guillermo and Kara, I don't think are massaged I don't think that much. Ari and Benny are that much. I massaged agree because she's that much up and down. Jabri and Miona, completely. Yeah. Um, Thais and Patrick, we talked about in the last episode. Excuse me. I think that is massaged now. The last couple of episodes. Maybe it's the last couple of episodes, but yeah. yeah. So, y'all, it's the wedding day. And so, this is the thing. 22 days. No one else did this. We were 22 days out the first and then, beginning. Yeah. And then we're the wedding I'm day. I'm telling you, we both, we both took issues with this the timeline of them at the beginning. Yep. We smelled it. Yep. So, it's... It's my wedding day. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. I don't have to try hard. I'm gonna get a green card. Just get me to the castle on time. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, God, they're getting married at this gaudy place. It's just gaudy it's, and trashy. But as I said on, I think, episode one, you know, I always say, if you can't have a, don't try to have a crazy large wedding you can't afford. Have a smaller wedding for the people you can afford it. Yeah. Kind of looks like they did that. And I thought they're like, because the reception looked quaint. No, I agree. So, um, so Muhammad and his friend Rafay are doing the Zur prayer. And the, yes, they're doing, and, he, and Muhammad said, I talked to my mother, and today's Eve's day. So he's, it's interesting because this is, in the words of a lot of night airs, a full 360. A full, y'all, it's a 180. But it's a 360 in night a day land, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And And that's when Rochelle comes in looking fucking beat. Oh, yeah. Her her Botox has calmed down Her makeup. 
the dress. She's just showing the right amount of tits. Yeah, her tits not t- look good. Not Darcy level tits. No, but just hey, I got good tits. Not how she was showing in her first time. No, out. not with the dinner with Mohammed for the first <laughs> time. It was a beautiful color on her. Her hair had this beautiful curl. That green. I mean, oh my god. Like honestly, I was kind of like, and you're letting Eve do her own makeup. Someone beat her face. Yeah, and I think what do you okay? Thoughts about the dress. <laughs> I think yours is the same as mine. You know, I didn't dislike the dress. It just did nothing. It was totally safe, middle of the road. Like, I... It was sparkly, but when she was like, I'm surprised Muhammad's... Hopefully he won't complain it shows my skin off too much. It didn't. It, well, it covered her Well, up. for him... Yeah, because it looks like she add, it looks like there was cleavage, and she added a piece. Yep, I agree. To take the cleavage out, I'll be honest. It was sleeveless. So for a Muslim wedding, normally, what would she need to wear? Covered her arms. To be honest, I kind of wish she would have picked out a dress that was more, that covered her arms in a way, only because where was Mohammed in this wedding? Totally agree. But he even said. It's Easter. I know, but she keeps talking about compromise and all of this. Where was Mohammed? Yeah, like to me, it would be very important to me. There was no, there was no Islamic element the, to the if, wedding. If, none. And if you, that's really, a great point. If you really loved a man, not have, even if you were going to have the, even have, if you were having the wheel sign before, right? You, if, if have it, Elizabeth Ashley and an an, an Islamic officiant. Efficient, and I think she could have worn like Elizabeth a- Ashley. Yes, <laughs> I don't think she had to wear like a any type. Yeah, there's of- one person who's screaming about Elizabeth Ashley. Yeah, one I know person. <laughs> she didn't have to wear a hijab or anything like that. Right. But I think she could have worn a beautiful, like long sleeve dress. Agree. Just to be like, because really, there you're right. There was no, there was no compromise. There was no inner melding of the faiths. Because in a way, even if you're a bride. Don't you want to? Yes, you want to look. Are you, up. Don't you want to look beautiful for yourself? But Ooh, also, everyone looking. Don't Ooh, you want to look yeah. beautiful to your partner? Sorry, I was pulling up my shorts. You were in the your. World. I was doing one of your things. But don't you want to look beautiful for your partner? I think you do. Yes. Anyway, so I just so instead you bought this off the rack, like David's bridal. It just yep. wasn't – not even good David's Bridal because you can get a good dress. The, this was not great. It also didn't fit her well. It actually needed That's to be a little the thing. tighter. It, it needed to be tighter. It kind of hung on it her. It kind of hung on her. Mm-hmm. And I, I was – I think – She's got a beautiful figure too. I think so far this is the worst dress we've seen this season. Well, it's hard when you've yeah. got fucking Kara – Looking God. like a goddamn a like goddess. That, that's out of a magazine. Oh, that dress, the dress and the makeup and the hair were out of a fucking magazine. I'm so gay that made me want to be friends with her. <laughs> you already did. I admit did. It. Admit I it. Did. And you done with. She'd be too much for and me. And you done with Guillermo wearing that suit and crying at that altar when she walked up and he cried. God, he was hot. I love Guillermo. Is, you know Gu- Guillermo is my favorite person of the season. He is. So, Daniel from Amber and Daniel. 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 <laughs> y'all, they just got, had a really beautiful scene on Love and, I love them. On uh, Love and Paradise. I can't believe it, but I actually like her. I, I love know, her. And I know you guys, a lot of you hate her, but. I love ranch I like dressing. Her. But, he, Daniel is hot to me. Guillermo he is. is like, he looks like. Gene Kelly or a Guillermo fucks good, but he has. So does Daniel. We saw her roll on that bed, roll on top of y'all. But don't you think Guillermo has this almost Hollywood, yes, like yes, old Hollywood look? To He's him. got a charm, and, and he she, knows it. And so when she did that with her hair and everything, again, yes, we're talking about Kara's wedding again. I'm sorry, I'm done. <sighs> that was one of the most beautiful wedding looks in everything. That I think I we've said this before. No. You said it. Most beautiful ninety day fiance bride that we've seen. We haven't seen season six of ninety yeah. day, and then we're done with all of ninety day, right? Yeah, we're caught. I mean, we've watched. Them we're all. caught up. So season six is the only one, and then it's B nineties. No, the only thing left is happily ever afters. Which y'all on our? <laughs> I know on our class list. By the way, we should know we're about. We're just finishing up season five of ninety the day fiance. Oh. So we're about Sorry. to start next. We will be doing uh, happily ever after, right? 
Happily Ever After Season 3. Season 3. So there you go. If you want to jump into that. See, five bucks here. So the so PS. Shannon was very Midwestern Elizabeth Ashley. I like that she was. I like <laughs> that when Eve comes out of the bathroom, because they see each other on the wedding day, he just goes, he doesn't even fully enunciate, You're oh my so God. Pretty. He just goes, oh my God. They do a sand bottle, which we've talked about before. This I, was a sweeter sand bottle than I expected. I, I again, I brought those up one time. And you went, "What? I like those because they look pretty." Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I like it better than a unity candle. Yeah, definitely. So now look, Eve is crying. She's doing her. Mohammed is crying. Yeah, that's mainly because he doesn't want to marry a woman, and he misses <laughs> his mother. He just thinks about his mom. He says somebody was vaping and it smelled like his mother, and then that just tri- sends memory. Miss mother, I miss breastfeeding. And then in a weird way, we see them get married. Yay, they're married. And then that's when we see Muhammad says, "I trying, I'm trying hard." And then we see the flashback of him doing this shit, and I'm like, "Why it's are you so showing us weird now?" It's a weird edit. I'm telling you, this is one of the. I want to talk to a field producer this on their season. One of the most illogical. I need to know more things I that we've to, ever seen. If you're a field producer of 90 Day Fiance, I don't care about your NDA. Please, we want to talk to you. We want to talk. We to won't. You. We won't talk about it on the podcast. We won't talk about it on the Cross show. fingers behind the show. Behind no, my back. I won't. I just need I to will. know. I'm like Enrique Iglesias. I need. Wait, no, that's Mark, Mark Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, one of J Lo's suitors. <laughs> <laughs> I promise I won't go off about how J Lo just needs to be single and doesn't need a man. I mentioned how I heard she was horrible, and you said, "Really? I didn't." No, you're right. Everyone, so many everyone, <laughs> can, like, y'all. They said I can confirm. She is that she horrible is a, person. Don't look me in the eye. Don't person. look me in the eye and don't talk to me. You're a trash person. I could see it. Yep. So I, ju- I just didn't want to put that out there. Oh, I didn't. I think her and Ben can go fuck themselves off their boat. Y'all, uh, it's not going to last. <laughs> no, it's not going to last. Should we go to Emily and Koba? We are going to talk about Emily and Koba right after this break. There are a few things that are very powerful in this world. Mm. Nuclear fusion. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just the tidal current. And the audacity of this bitch, Emily. <sighs> Holy fuck. I don't know how it gets worse. Every Boy. week, it just gets like, who is this bitch? So... Every single if week. I don't, and maybe this is a good on them for as manipulating us as an audience. I don't know what to believe. Meaning, is it for audacity that Emily doesn't want to marry Kobe? Because y'all, or she's having, quote, doubts. They're getting married. They're having a second baby. I, They're getting married. I agree. This was, this was for audacity. But a part of me kind of believes this came from a place of truth for her. Yep, that's why. she's that much of a gaslighter. That's why I believed it. Yeah, so that's where I am with this. Because she's that terrible. Yeah. But in my head, I was going, really, this well, has to be all fake. Last, but last week, maybe it's not. while we were out, you guys. While we were out. She found a, a thing. Obviously, his eye... Uh, Kobe, you need to have a password on your iPad. Uh, um, she wouldn't let him. Probably not. And she found out he'd been searching for one-bedroom apartments in Ohio. First of all, no one really wants to go to Ohio. Columbus may be the best place. Uh, Wait, you you know go. what? You won't admit this on camera. But I liked you, it. Mm, you actually said. Was it bad? You actually said, I love Columbus. I don't know what you're talking about. He said it. What's your proof? <laughs> What's going to hold up in court? Mm-hmm. I don't. It's not going to hold up in court Maybe. for me. We'll be coming back to Ohio this fall. Maybe. Maybe. So May. The thing about it is a, the land of Cleve. Uh, that's not been booked. Maybe the the Natty of Cincy. No, not that either. Maybe the stop talking. Maybe Dayton. I don't know where stop we're going. Stop talking. <laughs> 
Could we go to Dayton? That's where our color guard had national champions. No. Could we go during the national I'm not going champion? to Dayton. I would I'm not love going to go to, to the color guard national championship. I'm not going to Dayton. <sighs> um, it's one day to the wedding. <laughs> yes. We're here. Um, Wait, we didn't talk about like, oh yeah. But basically she... She freaks out freaks on him out. for... She's like, no, we're not going to Columbus. My family is here. Like he's like, but I could get a job because there's lots of people from Cameroon in and a lot of Africans in Columbus. No, we are staying here. That's case closed. No, because what she's not saying is my family pays for everything and supports for it, and they watch my kid all the time. And who's going to watch all of our kids? And what's worse, if I go to a place where I have no infrastructure of control over you, I won't be the big fish. You're going to listen to all your other people. You're going to start saying that you're the that you are like the head of that because she was saying, you know, they had the dinner two episodes ago where his friend, who is kind of temperature, a, no temperature, temperature, temperature was a dick. He's a dick, and he likes and t- and honestly, I don't. It's know The reason why temperature's single. I don't. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if temperature temperature's a shit stir. Yeah, he is. He's not a good friend to Kobe. I don't think, at least in this way. So she's like, is he going to be the head of the family and he's the king? And I just don't know. And she's all. So I get all that's happening. But girl, calm down. Calm down. It's so, not that deep. But, the, but I. As the Kobe reason, said, it's not that deep. The reason why she doesn't want to go to Columbus, besides she's a provincial, just complete provincial moron. And she thinks she knows the world. But. Honestly, she only wants to stay in her area because she can control everything and she's well liked and she would rather be a big fish in a small pond. As yeah. soon as she goes to Columbus, y'all, it's like making all types of new relationships, which she's not ready to do. No, she's not. And uh, of course, she doesn't want to do that. No. So she tells him a complete no and she's still pissed off about that. It is the it is the rehearsal dinner. They're having a big and they're having like traditional Cameroonian um, his garb family in the dressed, grassland region. It's family dressed up in Cameroonian garb, which I thought was nice. Since and he said that and, meant a lot to me because none of my family could I, come. And I will say this: it was he said it, the fact that her family dressed up in this meant a lot to me, and that's the least they could do. Then uh, the, actually, that's the least they've done. That's true. That's really the least thing. But it, it is the first time we see family Emily. At least of. what we've seen on screen. We yeah. have not. If you go back and look, you have not seen. So we blame Emily. We all come at Emily and say, how can someone be this terrible? Well, the because family enabled the, her. Because it comes from the trees she fell off. Yeah. Because we have not seen her mother, <clears throat> pardon me, nor her father. The only person that's shown him really any type of like bangs, is kindness or concern for his experience is bangs, her but sister. I do need to say, she's the worst of that family but to him. Where if, if how do I, huh? If, if are you being? <laughs> All of a sudden, you sound, you sound like you're being like uh, 101 Dalmatians, Cruella Deville. How do I? How do sudden? I? No, I was going to say, if if Emily is this Saint Puff Marshmallow man, I'm terrible. Stay puffed. What did I say? Saint Puffed. That's what I said. No, you didn't. You it's Saint Puff. Stay puffed. It's Stay Puffed, and it's puffed. Oh, because you say puffed up. Like I thought it was stay puff. puffed. I thought it may. No, because I thought it was a ah! <laughs> No. Stay wait. puffed marshmallow man. I thought it was saint. Like he was saint puffed. <laughs> he was the saint puffed You're an idiot. No, I thought it was the saint No, you're puffed a legitimate mar- idiot. The, no, think about it. He was the he was no, saint no, puffed marshmallow man. No, no, man. no, 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 no. Just sit in your idiocy. <laughs> Just sit in it. It's okay. Come at me if you thought it was Saint Puffed Marshmallow no one, Man. <laughs> no one. Stay puffed. Stay puffed. I thought it was a Saint Puffed. Every day I'm with you, I I learn more about how much you don't know. 
And honestly, stay puffed. That doesn't like, roll off the tongue like Saint. No, it stay puffed. It like stays puffed. Like it. Stays I know, but I thought it was gonna be like he's so saint puffed. Puffed he's, makes he, no he's sense. He's so puffed. He's the saint of puffedness. He's nope. Stay puffed, marshmallow man. We have to move on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what this was supposed to be. So I was going to say, if Emily is the stay puffed marshmallow mm-hmm. man of Mont, this apt hu- comparison, this huge, just like <laughs> this, like huge jar, full of evil. Yeah, not I don't mean big. Well, I mean like just tall, like just. Rawr! Yep. It's like the parents were still like the little slimers fl- flying around. Agreed. Like so, it all. But that is the comparison of how much more gross she the is. Saint puffed marshmallow. The man. Saint puff marshmallow man. Where would you win? <laughs> Where were you? Y'all, if you're watching the intimate portrait, my face is red from laughing and Jake's face is red from, I think, horror. Please just keep going. <laughs> I. It's just another time where your educational system failed you. And you also need to get your ears checked. Well, we didn't watch. Well, that, that's true. We didn't eat a lot of marshmallows. That was a movie. But <laughs> At one point, Rick... Uh, Rick Moranis or maybe Dan uh, Aykroyd. Aykroyd goes the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. I thought he said Stay so puffed. clearly. I thought he could work on his diction. <laughs> so Emily has Kobe out. He's like, she's like, I need some air because y'all, she's been drinking non-alcoholic beer all night. Now I'm gonna she say, has. y'all, this is a bitch who knows how to run a scheme. Oh. Emily is smart. She's been running game on her family years since she was twelve. Since yeah, since she was running out to meet black That's, guys. That yeah, because she fetishized them. Yeah. Yes, this is because this Bangs, is yet another step in game. It's because Bangs hates her. That's why Bangs, her sister, can't stand her because her sister got away with everything and didn't. Bangs, I know you're a sister, but if you want to come on and do an interview, we'll we will. Wah, 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 your voice. <laughs> we will say that it is a high school classmate she went to school with. Bangs, you're named La you've, got, you've got a story. You've got stories, and well, I want to know. So she's like, I don't know. I'm just like questioning it all. Like all of the things that are coming out right now, and I'm just like questioning it all. Tongue, tongue, giraffe, giraffe. I'm gonna eat something, and he's like, she's like, you were looking for Ohio, and he's like. You're bringing up all this the day before our wedding? Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And she's like, I don't know. I just feel like you, I don't know. And he's like, do you feel like I'm only here for certain benefits? And she goes, this was the editing. That's why it's for audacity. Yeah. But he said, I left everything in my life. Everything in Cameroon. Everything. Family, his family, his friends. here his and you job, doubt me. His she business. Goes, Remember, he had a business that he sold. And she goes, I'm just looking for reassurance right now. And I don't need any of your, like, uh, I don't need any of your, like, talking toes. And I, that's when I was said, this, this is, she will do everything. Anything to be on television because she will. The fact that someone says, "Sure, I'll do this to a black man on television in 2022," she, y'all, I actually think after this episode, I went, "Oh, we're going to see a lot more of you on 90 Day Fiance." Really? Yes, they are because she will do anything to turn a story for television. But I hate her. Now, like I love. You got to remember. Not a day fiance. They don't choose the people we love. They choose the people we talk about the most. I would rather never talk about her again. But everybody is talking about Kobe and Emily because every, she's probably out of this season. I would say even more than Bilal. She's the no, most I agree with memed you. cast member. No, I agree with you. It's but what if she, what if they throw us a loop? And what if it's her and Kobe on Happily Ever After? What? This is the worst game of fuck Mary it's, Kill. It's Bilal. It, it, I it's think Bilal, it's Bilal. And Shida. It's Bilal and Shida. I feel it in my bones. Me too. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. Should we talk about Jabri and Miona? There's not a lot. We're driving down the highway and we're going yeah. to Joshua Tree. Don't turn back because it's can't. raining on your wedding. 
That was piercing. <laughs> piercing. First of all, there's no way in hell that his parents aren't going to that wedding. I'm saying that now. You think they're going to? Oh, come on. I A part of me thinks so, but then the the passive aggressiveness of Mahala was so horrible. She's such this a was gross, all faked. This was all but, faked, though. But, yeah, but sure. It, 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 she's such a... Uh, She's so gross in this. Uh, but I... They're I showing do, up. There's no, there's no doubt in my mind. I feel like... There's no I doubt in my mind. some doubt, but, but they're, because they're making... No, they well, made a huge bit out of it. I was going to say, before this episode, I would have told you... No. Maybe not. But now, since that was... A, I was like... There's no doubt that both parents will show up unexpectedly at his wedding. Yeah. No doubt in my mind. I think they like probably filmed the this, thing with her talking in front of her house exactly like this else. whole this whole season has been so massaged there's no way this is not happening it's interesting to me i think what happened to them is they realized miona's not a drama person no it is ironically just a, just she's a, a troll on and twitter and she's horrible online and she is a drama person yep. on social media she actually comes off well on camera. But on camera, she won't do it. No. She won't show her ass. And I think what happened with this couple is they probably thought this is going to be the mo- one of the most entertaining couples we have because he's Mr. Showman. She's like Miss... She thought she was going to back talk. Mom, yeah. she, they thought she was going to back talk and all this. They expected all this because that's why they led with them first. Yep. And, all, and they got no drama did, from this. Did you notice, though, what... Miona found the wedding venue. Y'all, Miona's the only thing keeping him on track. Oh, for he sure. He is such a fucking child. Y'all, he's not... He's not doing his music career, not because of Miona. He's not doing his music career because he has no direction. He has zero direction. Do I think he's talented? In Actually, a- I'm going to say zero... Uh, consistency. Yeah. Do I, do I think he's talented? Yes. I do. But with, with, and he has great charisma on screen, but he is so, I, I guarantee you if you got a, if you got a diagnosis for him, it would be crippling anxiety, which I'm sure he has, but he overthinks everything he does. That's why this whole thing, they keep saying that he's impulsive Y'all, the other side of the coin is overthinking and being overwrought about things. Yeah, I because he's less impulsive than yeah. I will. Say, you probably don't agree with this. He's still likable to me. Like, um, like I not I, for me. I think he still has charm. I still get that, and so I just feel like I think a lot of people think of him as a loser. Your words, but. I didn't say it, but yeah, I mean, I think, but that doesn't mean he's still not, you can be a loser and still be charming. It's and still have a, the ch- let me, let me follow that to a, to an end. Cause charming he's, is not, he's losers charming, are, okay. but there's nothing that's going to pay off from it. But I think it's charming. just, it doesn't need to pay off. It's his personality. His just kind of the way he shows up the world. Yeah. But a charm to it. He just. But it's not going to pay off because he doesn't know how to funnel it. Through. Now, Miona does. But everyone, Miona everyone could market him. But everyone knows someone like Jabri who is all sound and fury and is all talk, and we've all dealt with them. But that's why – but I think Miona – then you remember he said – it makes sense when he said, I love her because she got all these Instagram followers that he loves – that she has a vision for him, and she can push him to do and it. And she has follow through that he doesn't have. No, no, I totally agree. He with is you. the Annie to uh, his David. Okay, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, um, and so he has his grandma Shane arrives at their Airbnb, and Miona will be a success. I agree with you. Sadly, yeah. she will be a success. Uh, and Grandma Shane basically says, "So you're ready to get married?" And he's like, "No, but." When are you ready? Everything is so existential to him. And y'all, if you are always existential, you will go nowhere. Now, Jabri, I believe, is still wondering if he's going to get married the night before he gets married. I agree. That is a Jabri. Because he has no real footing. And this is interesting. 
And people would people people would you know he is a spoiled brat. And let me tell you why he's a spoiled brat. Th- the idea of the real world hitting him in the face has never been introduced to him before. That's why it's garbage that the parents are letting him are letting him find his way now. Yeah. He, that's why he's fighting back. He's like, I'll do whatever I want to. This is the first time he's ever been allowed to do he that. Does, he does have a lot of entitlement. Yep. And it's, that's a, it's an interesting term to say entitlement. It is chutzpah. It is, I, look, watch, watch me. I can definitely succeed if but I he, try. Yeah, but also I feel like with, thinking about like his parents in this season, he feels like he's owed something. Yeah. Even, even if it's fake, even, even like his parents being there. Now, granted, you're, I feel like your parents should try to be your way, but he feels like they owe it to him to be there. Well, newsflash, I promise you by the gods of reality television – they I know, but, you, but but that's aside. The, but the point of what he says, like when he says, you know, like, um, oh, he said something to the fact it was the way he said, like, um, he kind of basically said, like, if they loved me, they would be here, and so, and I and, agree with that. Just but I just said it shows up everything in his life, like he feels owed. I am owed this. It would be different if he wasn't twenty eight years old. Yeah. He talks. You to Ma- grown motherfucker. You grown. They they have a thing. He talks Facetimes with Mahala, and that's again where she he's kind of like the only thing is missing his mom and dad. See, she said, "God, I I hate his mother. I hate his mother. Like she triggers me so because she." The thing is, let me just t- say this one thing before you go off on this. I've completely checked out on this because I know mom is playing a role and he is too. I, well, and maybe they are, but I'm still, but going along with what we saw, yeah, it's still where she said the whole point of having it, you know, she said the whole, she said, well, you know, I hope it goes well. The whole point of having it there was so it would be beautiful. So I hope it's beautiful. And I went, fuck it was even that she's using their words against them as leverage of why she's not going to be there so whether it's fake or not just the fact that she's still even if she's acting yeah she's still so fucking passive aggressive i guess to me there's just no stakes to this so. i guess but i'm just watching the show and taking what we're getting but it's it still it still is like a way of you it still is passive aggressive and gross it's gross and he can't get them an air ticket. It's like dark outside. Well, he's saying, I'll get you an air. It's like a weird thing to say, an air ticket. <laughs> yeah, and it's dark in Joshua Tree. They live in They'll fucking- be there. They were, they were at a hotel down the road. It was just. I, I, this, this is, I'd love to go with you down this road, but I promise you they're going to be here. No, I'm not. I, but I'm saying, I know, but I mean, it's still, this is a show we're giving, and I just am talking about kind of what we saw. But I'm saying, how it there's, there's one part where, where I go for fraudacity, and this is fraudacity for me. I still think his mother could go with fraudacity and not be a passive aggressive, gross mom. This is what they want, though. It's so gross. That's what I'm saying, though. I think it, this is working on you, though. Because it, no, yeah. it, it's supposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not working on me because I haven't believed it in 10 episodes. Yeah. Well, so I just I, – I, I'm ready I, for them to be gone. I checked out of this storyline really early. No, oh, yeah. And, and, and I know a lot of people were – that got up, people upset about it. But I just the, – the falseness made me go, none of things – nothing is connecting here. So, and so I checked out. What would – I think they're going to be there too. But what if they're not? The, if they're not there, I will have to reckon with the fact that uh, n- I will call that bad storytelling. That's what it'll be. Yeah. Because this has been scripted from moment one. Yeah. And they'll be there. I bet you – you want to make a wager? You, I, I'm, not bucks. Ar- I'm not arguing with you that they're not. Yeah. If anyone's out there who won't spit me a hundred bucks, no, no, that they no, won't be there because you might have to pay. Like, well, that's your money. Don't take it out of our joint account if you're paying people. It'll be come from. It'll be come from Reality Gay's joint account. No, it's not. <laughs> not I don't on think, my ass. I don't think anyone would bet me a hundred bucks that they won't. show No, up. I think all of us think that they're going to come. I'll be surprised if they don't. But no, I will say 
this has been because this is we're gonna talk about it next week, but this has been the most massage scripted influencer heavy storyline, and it deserves to be treated as the drivel it is. And yeah, that here's the point of it. I can't get emotionally invested if there's not a true story. And I don't think it's been true since like episode five. Yeah. Honestly. That's why when everyone gets upset about the parents, I'm like, eh, I guess, but they're playing a role. Yeah, but I still think that's a, uh, yeah, they're playing a role, but just as a, as a mother, my mother would never say that shit on camera. But I'm, but I, what I would tell you is if one part of its faults, all of its faults, um, in a way. Yeah. Um, but we'll see if the parents don't show up. Is it all true? Maybe. If the parents don't show up, uh, first of all, I don't think they'll happen. Uh, like I said, I think they'll show up. Uh, but if yeah. they don't show up, what does that How, mean? What's a percentage for you? What's a... Oh, I think like at least 95% they're going to be too. here. Me too. I'm 98%. But if they don't show up, what, is the, you know, what would that mean? That would mean they miss their train. <laughs> Maybe. Or they couldn't get a rental car. Maybe. Because, y'all, everything they've been telling us, the parents are coming. If I'm just trying to be super pragmatic about if this. If Jabri and Miona are on Happily Ever After, I want to be in the room when Boodle finds out. It's going to be Bilal and Shida. We're not watching it if, if they're on. And we're not covering it because I, I'm gonna, for the first time, I'm going to say... This is 100% fraudacity. I think Happily Ever After would actually be more entertaining. Well, the, the, it would be a of different them. takes. Because I, it I would just be a reality I show for I them. can't imagine any circumstance where the stakes would be high for them. Because the only, the only high stakes is for her to stay in the country. Yeah. So what stakes would it be? There's no. It, it would be uh, Jabri's got to get his song out. Uh, <sighs> Because Space Cash has a has to go back to his planet, and he's got a deadline. Where's a Where's a set of stairs I can throw myself down? <laughs> space and also, is Space Cash going to this wedding? No, I don't see Space it's Cash. It's a very, or what's it's his a very small David? wedding. What's his friend's name? David. David. Where's his band? They'll be there. The, I promise band? you. Next week is going to piss the fuck off off of all of us. I just, I just know it. Well, the, I will say one thing. Looking forward to the tell-all. I'm looking forward to the tell-all because I want all of them to come for Emily's fucking head. I think that we'll talk about that in the last episode uh, uh, before who we think is going to get it. But yeah, there's definitely. I think this will be a very good tell-all. I think they're going to come for Emily. I think people are going to come for Kara. Because she's been very defensive of how she's acted. Yeah. Um, I think people are going to really go at Muhammad and Eve. Um, oh, yeah. I, 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 only people, the only person I don't think is going to really, people are going to come for is because I think Sean's going to handle it. I think Sean's going to be very careful with Bilal and Shaidab because, y'all, we think, we know they're going to be on Happily Ever After. So I think the night a fiance is going to guard their future prospects here. They will. When will they announce who the new couple is on happily ever after? I forget. Probably right after the tell all. Is it the tell all? I couldn't remember this tell all or the last episode. Yeah. Once. Cause I, I think one time Cause Brandon and Julia were announced right after that one time. I feel like one couple was announced after we saw them get married. That's a good point. So maybe it will be after next week. Yeah, maybe. All right, y'all. That's the show. Go to Reality Gaze Podcast to our Instagram account. We, uh, we're working on the website. But yes, follow us on Instagram. We're working on it. TikTok's Reality Gaze. You can follow us on Twitter. Uh, go to our Facebook group, The Sissy Squad. Or you can follow us on Facebook on our public group. We appreciate that. Um, uh, remember, y'all, suck those dicks if you're out there. Do what you need to do. And wow. We call these people lonely hearts because aren't we all just lonely hearts looking for love and all the wrong no, What can places? I even talk about? I, I, oh, oh, I know what it is. And if you just, just want to proclaim to the world, go love yourself. Go love yourself. I, 
You don't even go need to call us. Just go love Wear yourself. Wear a shirt. Wear a shirt. Go love yourself. And call us. <laughs>